Geographically, Malaysia has a large river network. Rivers play an important part in water cycle, but rivers being long distance and extending to remote areas are often unintended. If we can closely and continuously monitor the rivers for a long period of time, we can identify the health of river water and changes in water quality. We can know if an event of contamination has occurred and that can allow faster action. But how do we implement long distance continuous monitoring? If we use workers, it will be labor intensive and it will be time specific instead of continuous. If we depend on data connection, remote areas may not have data connection available. So this is what we are suggesting. Fiber optic network is finding its place as a reliable system for large scale monitoring, such as in oil rigs and long rail lines. Fiber optic can be laid down for long distances with a lot of advantages. Optical fiber can sense physical changes such as temperature and pressure using fiber brag grating. But how can we make the fiber optic sense both physical and chemical parameters along the same fiber line over long distances? This is our innovation, motor-driven FBG. Instead of interfacing electronics to light conversion for an electronics device to communicate to optical fiber system, we suggest chemical to physical detection. Optical fiber can be laid down along the long distances of riverbanks. Electronic, chemical and physical sensors can be placed at chosen points along the fiber. Our project shows a model architecture that can incorporate pH, oil, water level and water flow sensor. In fact, it can include any kind of established electronic sensors. pH sensor is dipped in an acidic solution of pH 4. Then the gripper will start to respond and change the wavelength of the FBG. The wavelength meter will measure the wavelength value. The graphical user interface of the pH sensor will now show that the system has detected an acidic solution and sends an SMS to the person in charge. Sensor is submerged in a beaker of water containing oil pollutant. Then the gripper starts to respond and changes the wavelength of the FBG. The wavelength meter measures the wavelength change in the FBG. Next, the graphical user interface of the oil sensor turns red to indicate there is an oil pollutant detected by the system. Finally, the system will send an SMS notification to the person in charge. If there is a stream of high water flow, then the gripper will respond and change the wavelength of the FBG. The wavelength meter will be changed due to the gripper pressure. The water flow sensor will display a red alert on the graphical user interface to indicate if the system detects high water flow. Then the system will send an SMS notification to the person in charge. This is the condition where the sensor detects whether there is a high water level or not. And then the gripper will start to respond based on the signal sent from the water level sensor. The wavelength meter will measure the wavelength produced by the gripper. As you can see, now the graphical user interface shows that the river has a high water level. And then it will send a warning message to the person in charge. The benefits of this system is that the electronic sensor technology and optical fiber can be combined in the same system. It is continuous, it covers long distances, and is good for gathering long-term data collection.